Yep. Yep. I promised this I would do. Samurai Jawbreaker, Problematic, Deathwing, Lava Temple, Decode, Glitter Funk Version 2, Sidestep, and possibly 9 circles. For my next few demons. Probably not 9 circles, to be honest, but I'm gonna be showing you what I know sidestep today. Um, Glitter Funk Version 2 is also gonna be really annoying. Jawbreaker is gonna be really annoying, but I will get there. Death Moon in Problematic will probably be in sidestep two will probably be like the easier version ones in here. Th those are kind of the breaks compared to all the hard ones. I just wanna do sidestep first because it's so much fun. But yeah, let's just show you what I can do. So you pretty much just go and do that. It's pretty easy. And this is the fairly easy part. So yeah, you can't hold there though. See, look, you can't hold on any of this ship. You don't have to be straight though either. You also have to you have to hit the block before it, which means you have to be pretty early, but there's still a timing there. And then, yeah, I can't really explain this very well. You can see other people playing it, though. And there's a coin there. If you do that, which honestly, in my opinion, is easier. And then this is easy. So it's, you, you pretty much hold out of there, so you tap once, one, two, one, two, one, and yeah, you can drop, so you don't jump there. And then you have to jump there, because there's like a um, purple orb. This duel is pretty hard, and also hard to explain, so I'll just let my... Um, I'll just show you me actually doing it. So here, here you got to hold. As soon as you hit that one, you gotta hold until after you, the other guy hits the yellow one, and then you gotta hit there. And then once you, but you've gotta wait to. Uh, um, wait, it's really those duels are just really annoying. So much hard as they are just a matter of practicing. But yeah. Now pretty much every other level I do is gonna be harder than this for the next Actually, because I've done most of the really, really easy ones that are very well doable on mobile. I mean, Deadlocked is the only one that's that I've done that's like really insanely annoying to do on mobile. And even then, Jawbreaker is kind of easier to do on mobile than it would be to do Deadlocked on mobile. Even though on the computer it's a lot, it's the opposite. Jawbreaker is much harder than Deadlocked. At least that's what it feels like to me. Let me try to beat this though.
Okay. No. <laughs> I was doing good. Hmm. You can do that either really late or early enough to hit the block before. Whichever one works better for you. Especially on 60 hertz, so you want to do the earlier version. Because otherwise you'd have to be really late for it to load that correctly. <laughs> oh, frick. I hate the frick this first mini ship in the ball. But after that, I can do pretty good up to the point where I, of uh, where I died last time. And then it starts getting much harder than any other point else in this level. Once you get to those later ship parts, they're really, really hard. Because of, like, where you have to hit the orbs and then straight ahead after go to, a uh, for the, like, gravity transition. That's also gonna get me a lot, is the way that works. When that portal changes. Because you, you only have a, like, split second where you can actually see that. because you'd have to switch your eyes very fast to see that fully. Like, you'd have to be very experienced with this kind of stuff. Very good eyes. Which I have, but it's still annoying. Like, I, I have 2020 vision, so I can see this like you're supposed to. So it's not like I have any problems making it hurt even harder than the fact that I play on 60 hertz and mobile. Well, I'm not sure if the Samsung I have here is 60 hertz fully. But yeah, also by the way, I'm back. <laughs> Again. I was originally gonna stop recording on mobile as well, but... It wasn't working on my office, so I had to switch back to Samsung, but don't worry, I've also managed to ray as well. So I'm still having somewhat fun, and I'm not... It's not like I'm gonna have to done download this to have fun on my other games. I was also trying Guitar Hero. I... I only got, like, a 90% accuracy on Slow Ride on Medium. On Guitar Hero, um... Legends of Rock, or whatever it's for you. But you can see a lot better if you're, you were having trouble seeing by hitting the save the smoke. It's not like this level has a lot of lag, though. That's the thing I like about most of these um, levels and the gauntlets. See, I can't ever do the demon gauntlet on Nubile, because it's too much lag on hell. 
if that's the actual, like, final level. I'm not even kidding. I just can't do it. It's it's too laggy, the wave part. Oh, and I also might as well do traction soon after. Like, after I do sidestep, I can also do traction, which I might as well do for my, like, 60th demon. Which, honestly, will be oh, pretty easy compared to Drawbreaker. I have... I have... I have 43% on Drawbreaker on mobile. How insane is that? Will you go try Jawbreaker on your stupid, like, ta iPad? Because that's pretty much what I'm playing on, not a phone. Which, for some reason, C197, like, he plays on his phone, apparently, and he still is insane -o. Like, how does he do that? You can be insane at the mobile, but it's still extremely hard to get to that point. You, like, would be, have to be playing for, like, three or four, like, since it came out, I don't know, to gain that kind of experience. Especially to get used to the mobile physics, like, it's so much more, like, you have to react so much quicker on mobile a lot of the time, and you also have to be a lot more careful with timing. Because you can't see how exactly... It's more precise, you can see more precisely on the computer how close you are to a spike, or a trap, pretty much, on the computer, because it's bigger, and it means you can see more of the gap between it. For example, you could literally, it could literally seem like you're almost touching the spike on mobile, but you're can you're like just above it on the computer because of like the, the, what it's trying to do on the side. And yes, I play on 1080p still. I might not play on 10. Um, I mean 144 hertz. But I do play on 1080p, so at least I can see, like, a clearer image, but I can't see a more precise image. Which kinda sucks. <laughs> at least I'm pretty sure it's, um, 10, I'm 1080p, cause... I've seen 720p and 1080p, and I can tell you there's a big difference. No matter what game you play on. Even on mobile, I can tell. Maybe I'm just pretty perceptive. Oh, again! Why don't you fit that immediately? <laughs> this sucks. I like to play in a bed or a gaming chair that's right next to my bed all the time while I'm playing this game. Like, I just record it while I'm laying in bed. Like, either late at night or very early in the morning. But for some reason, I'm recording right after church, which is kind of an awkward time, too. I, uh, I almost 
almost got to the one, like, one of the hardest parts. That's honestly not as bad as, like, the second to last ship, though. One last time to get past the, um, mini ball part. The first ball part. And then I'll give up. Okay. Of course. Oh, wow. <laughs> what, the what the heck was that? What? The that was so stupid. <laughs> I literally did. I failed to jump over a one spike. Even for slow mode, that's very easy. You just had to wait a second longer. That's great. That's why I'm never gonna be able to do the kind of stuff like Freedom Dive and Cremerian Shade when Circius Star uploads those. Which apparently there's both the Dream Demons, which. I can see why Cremerian Shade is a train, but Freedom Dive, it's kind of, I'm kind my, me, myself, I'm, I'm kind of debating myself whether it's insane or a dream. I mean, for the most part, it's insane demon, but it can be an extreme demon when it comes down to the fools. Like to do by yourself, they're extreme. After you learn them and you're playing with someone, they're pretty much it's just an insane demon. But either way, enough, enough about that random stuff. Yeah, I haven't spent terribly much time on the side of the though. Oh my god. I, I remember this. This is like the older version of um, Lava Room. This is when I was sucky at creating. And I'm still not the best at creating, but I'm much better than I was now. Then. Nope, I was never gonna be a dual mini, but close enough. What the heck? I lied to myself. This was actually slightly better. And I was originally planning on making a buffed version of Lava Room, but instead I pretty much just made um, a sequel. Which was kind of dumb. Rebirth was also a decent-ish level. Seeing there was coin up there. <laughs> wow. I can't even do my own level. It's kind of sad. And then you can pretty much do that. And 
And of course there's a wall there. This was an okay- I might actually upload a more decorated version of this. Actually, <laughs> of course there's a coin there and you just miss it. I made this in fourth grade, by the way, and I'm only in fifth grade if you didn't know. So for a fifth grade, just stupid kid. I did the old version of Toxin Lab 2 as well, and I was like so proud of this, and really the old version was not that hard. I mean, the new version was buffed slightly, as well as had a additional part in the end. It just, um, I could, I could actually record me doing this though, if you wanted me to. <laughs> the old version but i did this like three times the old version so it's nice i felt proud and i only did this in like 200 attempts that's when i felt good i thought that it would take me like a thousand or more to do when i started this and i just did it in like under 300 like 250 and I was like oh my gosh I'm so good and that was really okay especially for mobile but it wasn't like it's the best thing ever yeah it's really not that hard anymore <laughs> it's just I'm not really trying that hard let's look at some of my other levels oh this was horrible Tried to steal the Toxin Lab 3 effect by that tutorial that, 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 um, that Zaro showed me and people. Um, and I just did that, and that was horrible. And I even knew back then it was, like, very cringy, so I just left it there. That's actually kind of hard straight fly, though. I was trying to make this like a demon, like a very easy demon though. That's tight, <laughs> okay? Okay, I admit that that was one tight section I could actually make in a, in a level. And you have to go like really high up there, okay. Of course, you add all that stuff, and I didn't remember. Another thing I did. Oh, this was, um, on this account. This is inspired by, um, Pursuit, which was inspired by Pyrex. Um, and Pursuit was made by Radiant Energy, if you didn't know. By the way, Eric Van Willemann recently played one of his levels. Which pretty much means he's de bound to get Pursuit featured. Eventually. Uh, so do you like the fact that I have, um, 50 demons done now? I also tried to do this, which was really cringy, because I can't. That's not even hard. Look at this. You just have to go, like, really early, and then you can pretty much get that going. Okay. Okay, calm down. That was actually kind of hard. Yeah, I've had a lot of levels, though, that I've done that really weren't that hard. And I wanted them to be. Oh, this level, though, too. Yeah, this is the level I was talking about. This was when my 
I can't was called Dark Ride GD, and I wasn't recording videos, by the way. I, that, this was way back when. By the way, Dodge Life was the first level I used. Um, moving objects in was when I first learned how to use them, too. I will eventually finish decorating Death Room and verify it, but it's. It's actually hard. It is hard as heck. How to max objects. Yeah, this was, um... Something. <laughs> you can't even beat it anymore. Oh, this is even worse. I remember I loved this level. I will do the catalyst eventually. level I really really want to be um but it is a bit of an insane demon um but other than that just I want to stop messing around after I show you this okay look low this was this is actually like my favorite level I'm not even kidding it's my favorite level <laughs> I just can't get terribly mad at this. It's the song and pretty much everything else combined. It makes it one of my favorite levels. Rob Buck is good at making fun gameplay with decent but simple design. This was literally near the end of 2.0, and it still uses mostly 1.9 type looking design. Like, unless you really pay attention, it really looks like 1.9 design, but it's really not. And the gameplay is so great, and the design is so... Simplistic in a way, it still it still makes the scene fun and good to look at. The gameplay is more 2.0 based. Um, the design is look more 1.9 looking to me though, which is great. It's pretty fine. But other than that, enough of me getting mad at the catalyst. Really not that hard of a level for many people to be honest it's just me it's an insane demon though still anyways enough of that thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one bye uh so i have 100 secret coins and i unlocked this ufo it's pretty hot <laughs> Ah, uh, so three coins on every single level. Yep, I did that locked off camera. Sorry, but screw main levels. Let's do all these hard levels to make up for it. That's what. I, that's honestly the main reason I wanted to do this. All these demons. But yeah, enough. Uh, like I just want to stop talking about this bull crap. Because I think it's going to overflow that in like a few times. What's that though? Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!